In the previous video, we rigged a simple box. But right now, the bones can rotate freely, which isn't realistic. To make things easier to follow, let's enable axes from the viewport display section in the armature properties. This shows the axis labels on each bone. You can move their position up by increasing the position value. Let's reset all the bones to 0 degrees so we can apply the same calculation to every lid. Each lid rotates from the top of the box down to the side, which gives us a total rotation distance of about 270 degrees. In pose mode, select a lid bone and add a limit rotation constraint. When the bone is facing the x-axis, the left side is positive and the right side is negative. So we'll always put the positive value in max and the negative value in min. Since this bone is at 0 degrees, it should rotate 180 degrees on the positive side and 90 degrees on the negative side. Now the lid rotates correctly. Reduce the max value by about 10 degrees to avoid mesh overlapping. Enable the Y and Z axes as well, but keep their values at zero to prevent unwanted rotation. And don't forget to set owner space to local space, because we're applying limits based on the bone's local orientation. Using local orientation makes sure the rotation limits still work even if the entire armature is rotated. Repeat the same process for the other bones. Now all our box lids rotate perfectly within their limits.